sometimes we come across quadratic equations that have a non-perfect square as the solution. That means you're still going to have a radical sign in the solution and that might confuse you a little bit when you're checking your answer. But I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, let's just solve it. Solve for x. We can combine these with these terms because they're like terms. That just comes out to 1 positive x to the second power. 4 minus 3 is 1. And this equals 32. Now remember, we square root both sides to get rid of this exponent up here. And so it's going to be x equals plus or minus square root of 32. Is there any way we can simplify this more? We have to get it down to the simplified answer. Well, let's try to factor out maybe a 2. So 16 times 2, that would equal 32. And here you have a perfect square. So we can simplify that to 4 square root of 2. And it's plus or minus. Remember that. So you have the final answer here, now it comes to checking it. And it's a little bit difficult because you have this radical sign still in there, but don't worry, don't panic. It will all turn out if we put it in to the equation. So, first one, let's go ahead and use the positive version of this. 4x, and this is x now, the positive version of this, so 4 square root of 2, and that's squared, minus 3 times 4 square root of 2, raised to the second power, and that's equals 32. The first thing you do here, in the order of operations, is you apply the exponents. That's the first thing you do. So, I'm going to write out, just so we can view this easier, I'm going to write these out in two different factors so we see what happens. So this term right here would become this. It's going to appear as a factor twice. So 4 times 4 is 16 in front, and then square root of 2 times the square root of 2 becomes square root of 4 and this can be simplified further remember this is a perfect square 2 so 2 times 16 so 32 16 times 2 equals 32 so we know now what this term right here is that's 32 if you look over here that's the same term so we can just substitute the 32, so we know what's going to become. So it is 4 times 32 minus 3 times 32 equals 32. Either you could multiply these out and resolve them and then subtract them, or you can recognize that these are actually like terms because they have the same factor and they have coefficients out in front and you could just subtract the coefficients and that would either way is right in this case it would be 1 would be left so it would be 1 times 32 which is 32 and this will equal 32 so you checked it that way the last thing is looking at the negative version of this right here so let's plug that in, we'll put it in this corner. So our original equation is 4x to the second, 3x to the second equals 32. And what we're plugging in is the negative version, which is negative 4 power of 2, or not the power of 2, but square root of 2. That's what we're plugging into these. 
so four there's the first one and then the next one okay so now we substituted it in for each of the axes let's just look at this portion again separate so we can see how it turns out it's going to appear as a factor twice Oh, not that exponent up there. I'm going to write another one. Square root of 2. Okay, so negative 4 multiplied by negative 4 is a positive 16. And then we know here that square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is just 2. And this will become positive 32, because 16 times 2 is 32. And if you remember what we did last time, there is a positive 32 as this term in here, and we've already come out with a positive 32, and we'd substitute it back in for this term right here. So you're, in, you're back to the same part as you were over here, this right here. We could write that out again, but as you see it, we could first follow these steps that is going to become 32 and 32. So both ways work as long as you do the pl the plus and then or the the positive and the negative version of the answer even if you have radicals in it it will still work its way out if you get the correct answer